What's up, ladies and gents? Anthony Special here with Special Analysis back with another recap on the Profit Pack. Now, today has been a, an absolute crazy, hectic day for me. So, did I get a chance to really watch and trade the whole market? No. Uh, I do get together live with my students and clients and, and uh, coach them from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So, what you see marked off on these four charts is just within that window. Um, cause in all fairness, I, I just wasn't there the balance of the day. I mean, this has been selling like I, I, I never expected it to. Um, it's one appointment back to back, back to back, back to back. And, and, and it's just absolute, the demand has been absolutely insane. I mean, I've barely slept this week. So let me just kind of recap to you what transpired here during the window that I was in the market. Now, I'm sure there was a couple other opportunities that triggered during the afternoon. Uh, I, again, I wasn't there, so I'm not going to tout them if I wasn't there to identify them. So in all fairness, I want to talk about these four markets that I specifically trade. Um, I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that's who I am, pure transparency. Uh, if you are the trader uh, at any skill level and you think that losses um, don't happen or that if a loss is taken that you're not a good trader or a good analyst, then you can just shut this video off right now because you have zero concept of um, money management. You have zero concept of uh, risk reward or, or how, how to apply that properly. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through all four markets during the time frame that I was at the computer. I'm going to tell you what I saw, why I saw it. Um, we'll talk about it, and then I'll talk about my particular trade approach, which I share with every one of my clients. What they choose to do with that is ultimately up to them. But listen, I've, I've tried a lot of different things over my dozen years in this industry, um, and I can assure you the reason I employ the tactics I employ are because they're credible and profitable. Listen, I'll, did I catch every bit of every move here? No. Did I uh, uh, do okay today? Yeah, I made about uh, a little over 1200 bucks by 1030 this morning. Was it one of those days where I'm like jumping up and down, screaming to the high hells and saying, yeah, you know, I'm the best thing since sliced bread? No, but I can assure you most of you that went to work today to your nine to five job or whatever it is you do, probably didn't earn over $1,200 in a matter of two, two and a half hours. I'm not insulting you. I'm just telling you, you know, what trading is capable of producing and has produced for me. So uh, let's start top left. This is the light, sweet, crude market, uh, the market I have been trading the absolute longest. We did not get a confirmed entry here. Uh, we would need price to pull back through the profit band in order to trigger a buying opportunity. It just didn't happen. And listen, guys, there's days where you'll sit there at the computer and it won't happen. And then there's days where in one day you will earn enough to finance your entire month's living expenses. That's the nature of the game. It's not always easy, but it is the nature of the beast. And if you have the stomach for it, well, then you have the opportunity to take advantage of it. If you don't have the stomach for it, if you don't have the discipline or the money management skills, you'll get your ass kicked. Uh, it's just the way it works. On to the NASDAQ here. Pretty pretty aggressive sell-off through the morning, but we don't, we don't buy into a rally or sell into a sell-off. We buy into a correction or sell into a correction, and that correction transpired right here. You can see that little downward triangle that I posted there. You can see that very particular candle that is required for an entry. So this happened uh, just a hair before 11 a.m. So just as we were wrapping up our session here, this was triggered. All you have to do is sell at the bottom or the close of that candle being printed. Place a stock one tick pip or penny above it, depending on what asset class you are trading. And then take your profit as the market moves in your favor. Now this went $44.50, for those of you who don't know how to calculate that, that works out to 178 ticks. 178 times $5 a tick is $890 per contract traded. Now, I don't expect you 
to capture all of that normally. And the way I trade is I enter and I scale out of my position. So I would have sold the market right here. I would have taken some profit at one to one, one to one risk reward ratio. I would have then moved my stop to break even. At two to one, I would have taken some more profit. I would have moved my stop then to target one. And then at three to one here, I would have collected my last bit of profit and I would be out of the trade. That's the way I trade. Again, you can do it however you want. Personally, I trade with six contracts. I take off two, two, and two. Um, it's just my comfort level. Level, You know, if I'm holding for a longer period of time, I may trade with more contracts. But, you know, I also realize that there's going to be a period of time that I'm in multiple different, uh, you know, markets all at the same time. So, you know, two sets of six contracts is 12. I mean, you're talking about a good amount of margin there. Uh, you never want too much exposure all at once in case something goes haywire. You never know who's going to, uh, you know, trigger something across the, the globe that our markets are going to react to it. But here nor there, great profiting opportunity as much as $890 here on the way down. Okay. Now I want to show you a losing trade and what that looks like because losses will happen. Choppy markets occur. All the data all the software, all the technology, all the coding in the world cannot code out choppiness in the market. It's just impossible. I'll tell you how I played this particular move um, because I did trade the S&P and I did trade gold. So I'll explain both of them to you, uh, how it transpired for me. And you'll see in the email tomorrow, if you're on my email list, the byproduct of about what that $1,200 worked out to be. So we had a buy signal here. We had a trend change correction, that very particular candle print. Uh, buy it here, place your stop right there, and then you would start to, you know, sell into strength. Now, for myself, um, when I bought it and up here, right in this area, it did reach a one to one profit risk reward uh, ratio. So I, I sold my first little bit there, and then I moved my stop to break even. Now, ultimately, I got stopped out on the balance. Um, if you're a little more liberal than I am, and you just said, hey, I'm not going to take profit that quickly, then you got stopped out with 18-tick uh, loss. So an 18-tick loss, just for perspective, uh, it's $12.50 per tick. You would have lost $225 per contract. Listen, if you can stomach that, then, you know, which most people should be able to. If you're, if you're looking to make money, you have to understand that losses will occur. But that's the drawdown of that particular trade. Had you not employed my ultra conservative approach? Again, I'm not here to dictate to you how to uh, manage your money. I'm just here to share with you the methods that I have successfully used. On to the last market here, gold. So, Gold prompted a buy right here. You can see that candle just, just penetrated the profit band. So we had a trend change back here. Impulse, first correction right there, baby. Just, just push through it enough so that we could identify it. As long as we can identify it, what did we do? When this bar closed, we bought the market. We placed the stop one tick, pip, penny below that candle print depending again what asset class you're trading. This is the futures market, so it would be one tick. And guess what happened? The market just went up one to one, two to one, three to one. Now, I am a human and humans make mistakes. I scale out in two contracts, two contracts, and two contracts, I enter with six. Well, I entered with two contracts by accident. So, my mistake, it was what it was. I didn't get the opportunity to go back and add more at my ideal entry. So, what I did, because again, I'm human and I make mistakes, at one to one, I moved my stop to break even. At two to one, I moved my stop to one to one. And I hit three to one before I would have been pulled back and stopped out at one to one. So, I got my two contracts filled at three to one. I just never had the opportunity to take profit at one-to-one -one and two-to-one because, again, 
even after doing this for a dozen years, I am human and I do make mistakes. So that was my mistake. Probably cost me, you know, 1500 bucks not collecting these two little payments. But again, that is life. And I'm here to share with you my experiences so you can learn from them uh, and share with you the technology here that is available to you. Listen, this uh, technology will increase in price significantly effective September 15th. So if you want it, if you want classes to accompany it, what, what you know, I can create a package that is suitable for, for you uh, in a manner which you desire it, whether it's uh, classes and the software, just the software, just the classes, whatever you want. Um, I am in a position to build a custom package to help you be wildly successful in the market. But you have to reach out to me. You can email me info at specialanalysis.com. We can have a conversation about it and we can go from there. I'd be happy to give you a live demonstration of the software, explain to you what is offered in the live trade room, uh, and discuss any other comments or concerns that you may have and consult with you to see if this is right for you and if, or if it's not right for you. If it's not right for you, I would much rather part as friends than you take something that you're never going to use. So, anthonyspecial.com. Info at SpecialAnalysis.com. Find me, social media, wherever. Let's talk. If you're ready to do something different with your life, again, I, I fucked up this morning and I still made 1200 bucks before 1030. So if you had a bad day and made 1200 bucks before 1030 and that's acceptable to you, I strongly encourage that you reach out and we have a conversation. I'll catch you in the next video.